We all want to work in a great work environment, right? Right. Just like a sports authority with so many different sections. You've got the baseball section, football, fishing, all working together to make one great big sports authority. And just like a sports authority, we can work together. Yes, and with these three steps, we're going to show you how to create a more inclusive and friendly work environment. Step one, avoid making race-specific comments that may offend others. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Rob. I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go get some dinner with me this weekend? I'd love to. Oh, great. I don't usually date Asian girls, but you seem like one of the good ones. There's a new place in Chinatown that I think will make you feel right at home. Hey, I'm from Chicago. Oh, there's a Chinatown there too you must be from. I have to get back to my Excel. Wait, what's your problem? Are you still mad because I was all grumpy on Chinese New Year? I think you should celebrate on January 1st like everyone else. You guys had to make a goddamn dragon show out of everything. This conversation is making me very uncomfortable. Well, I'm going to be sure to remember this for your performance review next week. Wow, Rob really tanked right there. Yes, not only did Rob be offensive, but he also lost the opportunity to date the only Asian in the office. Step two, avoid racist behavior in the break room. Hi, Rhonda. Are you gonna finish the rest of your chicken marsala? Can I have it? You know I would, but there's only a few pieces left and I'm really hungry. I'm gonna eat it, I'm sorry. Oh my God, what is her problem? You know, black women have such attitudes. But why were you trying to eat her food? I thought she was gonna share it and it looked good, but she just had to give an attitude. I should report her to HR. She's really nice and she was star performer last month and she was voted citizen of the month. Well, we're just lucky she didn't roll her neck. I hate it when black women do that to me. It's like a roller coaster that I'm too short to get on. I don't care for it. My break is over. I should report his ass to HR as well. Wow. What a toxic break room. Step three, avoid using racial slurs like nip. Did you see that dunk last night, my nigga? Yes, I did, nigga. It was a really good game. <laughs> Yo, Andrew, did you see the game last night, my nigga? What is Andrew going to do? Is it A, ignore it and shut down socially? B, use the N-word in a casual, fun way? Or is it C, tell him that the N-word makes him uncomfortable? The answer is D. Just be yourself and respond honestly. <laughs> you guys are wild. Of course I saw the game last night. That came down to the wire. What about that dunk? Broke the backboard. Pshhh. Well, gotta get back to work. See you guys at the cooler. Anyway, man, I'm telling you this right now. I'm very happy that the black man took over the game of basketball in the 1960s. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and remember, diversity is not going anywhere, and it's going to get harder to get rid of minorities. So we're just going to have to make it what? work. <laughs>